Hello, my name is Peter Schmelauer and this is the fourth and final part of our tour of the Kanoko 5 program. We have ended the previous part by closing our new project, so I need to open it again. Kanoko remembers the last few projects you have worked with and these can be found in the file menu in the recent file submenu. I select there my project and after it opens, I will focus on my new task. Let me assume that the data were actually collected to find out how the grassland plant communities are affected by the agricultural management. If we would have, instead of community composition, a single synthetic descriptor of the community, such as the species richness, the question would be addressed by a one-way ANOVA using the management factor as the only explanatory variable. For our multivariate data, I will use the constraint ordination instead. To define it, I will first click the new button below the list of analyses. This shows the an new analysis wizard with three pages. On the first page, I must specify the tables that will be used in my analysis. So I keep the boxes checked for both data tables. On the second page, the focal table must be selected. This is typically the data table providing response variables, which we will try to explain. So I keep the plants data table selected. The last page is shown after Kanoko advisor checked the properties of the specified data tables and suggested appropriate analyses. I will increase the page size so that you can see its full structure. The page is divided in its upper part into multiple folders indicated by bold labels, with the first and last folders unfolded. We will focus now on the first folder, named Standard Analysis, in which the constraint analysis template is already suggested. The formula following the template name shows that the plant species variation will be explained using the environmental variable. You should also note that the text field in the lower part of the wizard page provides further gu guidance concerning the purpose of the currently chosen analysis. I will accept suggested analysis template and by clicking the finish button, the analysis is created and the analysis setup wizard is open so that I can specify analysis options. This time, the wizard starts with the selection of explanatory variables page. As I said before, I want to test the effect of management, so I must choose the other variables in the right hand list and move them to the left list using the left arrow button. After that, I click the next button and the familiar ordination options page is shown. Now, however, only the constraint methods are available and the CCA method is pre-selected. I will keep the recommended settings and click the next button again. This wizard page concerns the way the relation between community composition and the type of management will be tested. Kanoko uses so-called permutation test to estimate the risk of committing error when rejecting the null hypothesis. This hypothesis states for our data that the composition does not differ among the compared management types. This wizard page allows you to specify multiple parameters of the permutation test. For now, we keep the default options selected as they are entirely appropriate for this dataset and so I will click the next button again. I am at the final page of the setup wizard and after I click the finish button, the analysis is executed and the graph wizard window is shown. For this analysis type, there are five plot types offered, but only the first three are pre-selected and I will further uncheck the diversity plot. 
on the following page for the first diagram, I will check the box that limits the number of plant species shown in the ordination diagram and modify the following field so that only the 15 plant species best characterized by the management type will be plotted. I will change nothing on the following page and close the wizard on the last page using the finish button. Now we see the analysis notebook for my new analysis and the blue background for the first three columns in the summary table distinguishes the constraint ordination axes. These are the axes based on the management type and summarizing the variation in the grassland communities that can be explained by the management. We can see that the management type explains approximately 29% of the total inertia. The results of the permutation test are summarized further down the summary page using the pseudo-F statistic and the corresponding significance layer. Obviously, the effect of the management upon the plant community is significant, and so we can inspect the two graphs summarizing this effect. In the graph 1, the four management types are shown as red triangles, and the position of display plant species symbols shows their affinity to the management. For example, these three species at the right side of the diagram have their symbols located at exactly the same position as the NM triangle, suggesting that these species occur only at the sites with nature protection management. Species like Aquila millefolium or Bromus hordaceus obviously prefer the hobby farming and biodynamic farming management types. The other graph shows the individual plots coded by different symbols with different colors, depending on their management type. The polygonal envelopes enclose the symbols for the plots belonging to individual management types and suggest that the nature management plots and to a large extent also the standard farming plots can be separated based on their plant community composition. This diagram is supplemented with a legend. I will end my short introduction of the Kanoko 5 program here and recommend you the chapter 2 of the Kanoko manual or the tutorial PDF file available in the Kanoko 5 trial version. Both resources show further possibilities of the Kanoko 5 software. Finally, I hope you will find this program a useful companion in your research.